Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Internet Explorer. And here we go. Here is the Internet Explorer. And uh, you're gonna go to Tools. But keep in mind, uh, it's probably not gonna work for any versions of uh, the same way for the Internet Explorer. So basically get the concept what you're looking for. It's probably going to be under different menus, but that's all good. You gotta get the concept. The concept is all the same for the all browsers. You're gonna go tools, internet option, and keep in mind also this video will be split into multiple parts so please go ahead and watch them all as well as please go ahead and um, rate like thumbs up for me please so more people can see this. Thank you so much and if you like more video tutorials in uh, IT and uh, you know educate yourself in IT on a professional level please go ahead and subscribe to my channel just push the subscribe button thank you so much alright so we're gonna go connection LAN settings and over here I have use a proxy server for your LAN this settings will not apply to dollop or VPN connections I gotta click check mark so I can go ahead and set um, the settings and I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the IPs from that website digitalcybersoft.com like I told you and I'm going to go ahead and start with the first IP on top and I'm gonna copy and paste it I just copy and paste it you can type it or you can copy and paste it like I did. Ctrl uh, C together to copy and Ctrl V to paste it. Alright, you can see 193.72.145 uh, and uh, 80 is my IP for that proxy server. All what you need to do, that 80 will be a port. So you need to put that 80 after that uh, as a port. Like this. I'm gonna click OK, and we're gonna click OK. It's gonna take the settings, and now what what we are going to do? We're going to use the website that I told you that is good to uh, check your IP address. So we're gonna go ahead and check our IP address. But keep in mind, before you setting your um, proxy server, it's good to check before and write it down and then after you setting the um, after you will set um, the IP address of your proxy server um, it's good to compare IP to IP make sure they're different that means that you just change your IP address so I'm gonna go ahead and type uh, what is my IP IP address dot com Okay, it's giving me the network error, TCP error. So this does mean that that proxy server that was on the list doesn't support the TCP uh, protocol. So it doesn't want to give me the web browsing capabilities of the browser. Which is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and select the different proxy server. So this is the example. Proxy servers cannot be, uh, can be slow. They can be fast. They can be in different locations and they can um, have some um, features disabled such as TCP protocol um, and uh, different protocols like HTTP protocol and stuff like that if this will happen if you uh, are not going to uh, browse the web the way you want it just go ahead and change the proxy IP address let me go ahead and try this one as I can see, this is the IP address, 187.44.99.77, and this is, will be my port. So this is how to see the port. I'm going to copy and paste it, and I'm going to go back to Tools, Internet Options, Connection. But keep in mind, maybe they, Microsoft will change uh, the settings somewhere else, all what you're looking for, you're looking for to go to LAN settings and uh, 
use the proxy server option and over here you just want to type in the IP as I told you uh, 3128 will be our port so 3128 I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and OK so it's gonna uh, apply and uh, let's check our IP what is my IP address.com here we go and it's in Brazil so I'm definitely not located in Brazil so and this is definitely not my original IP address so what happened over here I just changed my IP address so here we go here's the basic example we just change it let me go ahead and demonstrate you one more let's go ahead to our proxy list and go for this um, IP address so this is going to be our IP address 113.157.206.196 and this will be our port port 80 so I'm gonna copy the whole thing control C gonna go back to tools internet option connection LAN settings as again you, uh, it can be in different location in the next version of the browsers what you're looking for you're looking for ability to set the proxy server somewhere in your browser just find it and then set it in as well in other devices if you using the netbook or notebook or laptop or cell phone that's what you're looking for you're looking for the options to set the proxy to be able to use the proxy But keep in mind, not all the proxies will support the cell phones and the mobile devices. As again, then you need to find a proxy that will be okay with the mobile devices. So it will know how to decode the information, the web data, uh, back to a mobile device. Okay, so as I told you, 80 is going to be our port. So I'm going to write eighty instead of three one two eight gonna click OK OK and let's go ahead and refresh this page as you can see it's loading um, this proxy will be slow I can tell and now we located in Tokyo Japan it's a little bit slower than in Brazil probably it's uh, uh, used by so many people here we go you just saw it's a little bit slower than in Japan I mean uh, it's a little bit slower than the Brazil that before and IP address is different so we just change our IP address so you got an idea how to go ahead and set this thing in uh, Internet Explorer let's go ahead and um, find out how to set the whole thing in the Google Chrome how to set the proxy server IP address but basically we just get an idea how to set the proxy uh, server IP address in Internet Explorer I showed you some examples I showed you how to check it and then just go ahead and okay now we are trying Google Chrome so load your Google Chrome and um, how to um, do the proxy as again you gotta load the Google Chrome visit the digital cybersoft.com then select the uh, proxy list for free click on it it's gonna load you a uh, list of the fresh anonymous proxy okay then copy one of the proxy let's start from the top uh, go to option under the hood and uh, network you're looking for the network you're looking for the change proxy settings click on it gonna bring you to the option like Internet Explorer LAN settings and then click check it's probably gonna be unchecked you need to click check use proxy server 
paste and 80 is going to be our port because the IP is like this and 80 is our port and this is our main IP address so we're gonna write 80 as our port gonna click OK gonna click OK and now just loads uh, what is my IP address and let's check the IP address but keep in mind check your IP address before you're trying to use the proxy so write it down so make sure you know what is your IP address before and then after you're gonna set the proxy you're gonna know what it's going to change after error as again the proxy uh, look like doesn't support the HTTP a protocol which is fine so this proxy is not good for web browsing it's probably for the email or FTP client or something like that FTP protocol so if you see there it's fine it's already mean that it works but um, it doesn't support the whole web browsing capabilities so go ahead and use the different uh, IP address in your list of the proxy servers. So let's go ahead and use this one. As again, this is going to be our IP address and this is going to be our port. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy it all with Ctrl C. Go to my Google Chrome. Under the hook, click on the uh, tool icon and then um, options go to under the hood and network change proxy settings then settings and let me go ahead and type this IP address as again this is going to be our port so I'm 3128 so I'm gonna write it as a port 3128 make sure that over here after the last number of the IP there is no dots or anything else click OK OK and let 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 me go ahead and uh, what is my IP address dot com and check the IP address and here we go now the page is loading means that that we have the web browsing capabilities and currently my IP address is my proxy server address means that uh, nobody on the internet will know my real IP address it will show them this IP address which is my proxy which is fine with me because I don't care for uh, this IP address I just care about my IP address and those people they just giving that IP address for free to use that company so I can hide my IP address okay so it's working let me go ahead and demonstrate you one more and we're gonna uh, switch to Firefox okay let me go ahead and try this one right here and as again this is going to be my IP 213.234.22.62 and this is going to be my port 8080 please watch this video in a full HD 720p in the YouTube for the best quality again I'm gonna click the tool icon gonna to go to options uh, select the under the hood switch to network change proxy settings land settings and uh, check the bar with the proxy server and paste my IP and 8080 is my port this guy is my port so I'm going to delete it over here and type it over here we click OK and click OK and I'm going to go to what is my IP address.com or just refresh reload the page and let's see what is our IP address it's loading I can tell there as again this proxy will be slow so if I'm not going to be satisfied with the speed of the load